Well, welcome back, everyone. And I always thank you for coming back. And one more request I have is the old subscribe button. I sure appreciate you hitting that. Um, so after our, our last get together, which was basically looking at patterns of plants that I mentioned that are continuously available for all of us to keep creating, today's discussion is going to be about plant dynamics and how plants that we have in containers and we have to remember there's no plant on earth that ever evolved in a container. And basically they're living a life that we're providing as many things for them to have a good life in a pot. And it, because the container is just a mode of mobility to take the plant that we have put in that pot based on our belief of how valuable that plant is for our purposes, to get the plant from point A to point B and going into the earth and then going to a high quality of life and sharing that life with other plants. So we're gonna be looking at when the plant goes into the earth at a youthful stage, and that's either in a three inch, four inch, a six inch pot, and then how it relates to all the other plants that we lay out with that plant, hope, hopefully, but through knowledge and understanding of the plant's needs from us to have a good life. So here's the three questions to start today's show. Is the assurance of aging a comfort for you? So what I mean by that, when I look at what, what does it mean to get old? And for me, I, I, I'm not having a bad time. Like I said, I turned 66 and I see a few more spots on my hands. I'm okay with that. And I'll, actually, I, I made a big transformation. I watched Forks Over Knives six weeks ago and I switched to a plant-based diet. And in the last six weeks, I've lost 16 pounds and I have more energy now than I had when I was at my most active stage in the winter. So there's always opportunities for us to find a way to grow old in a healthy, exciting way. And also working with young people, working with old people, all the different groups of people now that are finding plants to bring joy and health and well-being into their lives. I'm very excited about growing older. That's just one example. And the next question is, what dynamics come into your life as you age? And the dynamics for me, I expressed in another show, is traveling and meeting people. I was really, when I was a grower for, from 1978 to the mid 90s, I was set in one place and my whole goal was to grow beautiful, healthy plants. I didn't really move around or see that much. And since I started designing with plants based on the knowledge I acquired from the plants, showing me how they can relate to each other from youth to maturity, I've met so many wonderful people. And through traveling, as I explained in the other episode, has been one of the most productive moments of my life. Very, very productive. And that's again an example from me to you for that question. And my last question, as we age, are we caught up by big events of life or recognize the constant value of small moments? And what I mean by big events, again, an example for me, if the Bears go to the Super Bowl, you can bet your life I'm gonna watch that game. The last few Super Bowls, I really had no interest in it. I haven't paid attention, but if the Bears go, that's a big moment in my life to see them in a Super Bowl. But yet I realize the value of every small moment of every day has such tremendous um, opportunities for me to see really who I'm coming to be as I get older. And simply sunrises. From mid-March to October, I don't, I've never missed a sunrise because I'm at the nursery sowing seeds, turning sprinklers on, doing cuttings. And, and through that opportunity of seeing the sun come up, I've watched light changes, the way that the, the trees go from shade to sun, even the time that birds start singing in spring. So those are, those are the opportunities of small moments that I, that I cherish so much. So when I think about design, I realize it's all about composition. No, none of you out there have a favorite note, or, or do you? You, you? We buy music because the way notes are placed on paper. That's why we tap our feet, we go out dancing and enjoy music so much. It's the way notes are positioned on paper. Composition, it's all about how plants are placed together to create something aesthetically meaningful that we're emotional about it's really all about our emotions. Even when the insects, the birds, and the butterflies show up, it's an emotional way of loving what you see. 
and then loving how you've created that and put the plants together to be that successful for those particular moments. So we, let's look at it from a plant's perspective. A plant asks, how do we stay healthy in the earth living in plant communities? And a plant also asks, what characteristics should you as a human come to know about us as you place us in the earth? And the last question, but many, many more plants have, but the last one we have now, as we mature into each other, how does your love for us enhance ours and your well-being? So simply the first question, the plant, the plant simply says, how do you, how do you know how to, how to maintain my health? And that's what I call coming to know the plant. It's way beyond flower color and bloom time and mature height of a plant. It's understanding how a plant develops and grows from the moment it's put in the ground and what its growth rate and growth habit are. These are two major components of how to understand a plant and how plants want to be understood relating to each other from a container to going into the earth. Now the growth habit and growth rate are consequential to placing young, young plants in the earth. How plants will grow into each other from youth to maturity determines their lifestyle and human inputs, simply gardening. So I have some examples of growth rate and growth habit just to get a simple beginning for all of us. So I have Salvi East Friesland, you see an image, and this is April, the first week in April to mid-April. The Salvi is about two to three inches tall. The next image you'll see is mid-June. And you'll see by that time, which is about five to six weeks later, the salvia is 20 to 24 inches tall. So the growth rate of that plant is about 21 inches in a six week period. And then the next image is growth habit. The salvia is at mid-June is as wide as it is tall. So it has a mounding growth habit. Again, growth rate and growth habit. The next image is Echinacea purpurea in early April, mid-April. It's two to three inches tall. Echinacea purpurea in early July, it's 30 to 36 inches tall. That means it has a growth rate of 28 to 32 inches in a seven week period. And it has a growth habit, you'll see that in the following image, vertical because it's taller than it is wide. And that's the growth habit. These are a way of explaining the most important part, growth rate and growth habit, with two simple plants. But what we do is apply that thought process to every plant you love and want to love even more. So when you look at growth rate and growth habit, we see how a plant goes from youth to maturity and how they will grow into each other. Um, knowing the development and habits of the plant in the earth and understanding the plant's growth rate and growth habit from youth to maturity this is what's going to enable healthy garden design. So reviewing again, because it's so important, the growth rate and growth habit of a plant seasonally, and I showed that with the salvia in six weeks, it grew 21 inches, and that's not going to change. That plant will consistently do that year after year after year unless the conditions it's living in changes. And we're gonna get into this much, much more in the future but the conditions, if soil changes, if soil moisture changes, if light conditions change, if all of a sudden somebody put a building up by that salvia and it was shaded out by afternoon sunlight, the salvia might be a little taller and weaker and be a little looser. And again, we'll get into that in the future. But these are just thoughts I wanted to discuss with you and then see where you can take this on your own as we further have this discussion and plant, pl put, place plants together in our next few episodes. So growth rate and growth habit, figure this out, think about it, and I'm gonna get into this more in our next discussion. So hey, thanks a lot for the opportunity to share this with you, this most important episode, and we'll be talking later. And again, the subscribe button is right there. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.